I was there, I did have a bit of speech prepared, but uh, due to time constraints, due to Mills' speech with the uh, Barack Obama speech, I'll have to keep it pretty short. But, um, <laughs> no, obviously, um, they the same as the other boys. Uh, obviously, um, forever grateful for uh, the opportunity the football club's um, given us um, to live out live their dream and their passion. Um, you know, as, a, as a little kid, that's what it's all about, is to play out our footy. And, um, obviously, uh, Bobby's in the room here and took a bit of a pun on me and um, at the time the football club uh, didn't, have, didn't have any money to uh, pay me that, uh, what was it, probably 10, 10 grand or something back then, seven and a half grand, I've uh, um, been underpaid again, but um, uh, it's, uh, yeah, exactly, to, to take a pun on me and as Millsy said, um, you know, it takes, uh, you know, it takes someone to believe in you and um, you know, I'm forever grateful for that to um, get the opportunity to um, represent the Melbourne Football Club and, and um, live out my dream. Um, you know, it's been, been, been a great ride, uh, 14 years, um, goes like that. Um, everyone says that, uh, it's funny when uh, I played a lot of footy with Nita and, and you know, I remember when I first started, um, older players are retiring, um, Glenn Lovett and Gary Lyon and Todd Vine and these sort of blokes and you know, they all said at the end of their career, you know, the younger players, you know, I was the same, you know, and sort of listened to them at the time, but um, they all said that, you know, cherish the moment because it does go very quickly. So, um, I'll probably, there's probably too many people to uh, thank, but um, just, yeah, obviously the football club, um, you know, Neil Danner spent a lot of time with him as a coach, um, you know, he believed in me as well. Um, probably uh, one way that he believed in me early, early days was, um, this is quite a funny story actually. Uh, number 23, Alistair Clarkson wore it before me and um, I'm not sure if Robo's in the room or not, but uh, Robo was a big Michael Jordan fan and um, he wanted number 23 and uh, Clarko actually asked me to wear it. And um, so yeah, that, that was a real boost for me to, you know, someone that believed in me. And um, so I'm sorry about that, Robo, that uh, I took number 23 off you, mate. But um, you've done 24 prayer, mate. There's a bloke wearing 24 now that's doing that prayer as well. But, um, the football department and then obviously what, what the football club has been able to do over the last four or five years has been um, uh, quite amazing, especially with Jimmy and the new board getting on, on board. Um, you know, I think now that the, uh, it really feels like the football club has an identity and um, some direction and um, it's really uh, heading in the right direction. There's a real positive feel um, where the club's heading and you know, I'm really confident that um, you know, we're going to see some sustained, sustained success uh, on the field, but also off the field, which is just as important. Because I believe if you don't get the off-field stuff right, um, the on-field stuff will, will never be right. But um, well, so just to my family, have been a great support um, over the years. Um, you know, mum and dad, uh, wife Annabelle, she said to mention uh, my seven-month-old seven baby Harry, but he's got no idea what's going on. But um, and just finally to the boys. Um, you know, obviously, I'm um, always getting into the boys here, preparation and make sure we're prepared, but um, it is important because you'll get an opportunity, you don't know when it's going to be, so um, my thing is to make sure we're prepared, and um, when the opportunity does come, make sure you take it. And also, just finally, to all the supporters um, that supported me throughout the last uh, 40 years, it's been fantastic, and um, stick behind the boys are heading in the right direction. Thank you.